We're back with this week's Central Florida restaurant news. Uh, the first is uh, Flying Fish over at yes. uh, Disney's Boardwalk reopened. Yeah. Can you tell us about it? It, reopened, it uh, was closed for a couple months just for renovations, but it reopened with like a new menu and reservations can be made starting actually today. Yeah, so you can make reservations from today on mm -hmm. to try out the new menu, see what the new resident reservations, yeah. And what's different about the menu there? Um, they got rid of a couple things. They've added a few things. I, you know, it's hard for me. I'm a newbie, so I'm not entirely sure what is new. But I can definitely tell what they've let go because people are just they're very into this restaurant. Um, there was like a potato crusted fish that everyone was kind of up in arms that it's not on there now. But I expect they'll find new favorites. You know, usually do. Very exciting. And another thing that's kind of old but new that's happening is. If anybody remembers Capo that was at uh, mm -hmm. East End Market, uh, they're opening a new concept called Cadence right there in Winter Park at the old uh, Winter Park Beer Company location there on uh, Audubon and Winter Park Drive. So uh, one of the, actually, the weird things about it is they said they're not going to have a menu. It's going to be a chef's choice. So I love it. You sit down. I imagine it's going to be another intimate affair, and the chef kind of picks out. What an adventure. I know, yeah, yes. Just kind of see what, what he dreams up for you um have they said when it should be open? they're going to start construction this week i imagine it will take a few months winter park beer company has been closed down since about mm -hmm. january um but to flip it from a bar to a restaurant it's probably going to take a little time at least a few months um and then we got something else exciting down in uh Kissimmee that's uh, yeah um holler and dash is kind of like a i heard it called a like a millennials version of um Oh my goodness! Of Cracker Barrel, uh, is opening up in Kissimmee. Oh, in celebration, actually, in October, I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that'll be interesting. It's like lots of biscuits, lots of sandwiches. You can get anything from fried chicken on your biscuit to Nutella. So yeah, it looks yummy. And they have an interesting parent company, right? Uh, yeah. Well, Cracker Barrel, yeah, is their parent company. So it'll it'll be interesting to see kind of what that ends up looking like and what yeah. it's like. They got grits on there. They have tots. They have a whole bunch of stuff. Looks good. Yeah, and uh, Cracker Barrel is known for their southern biscuits and stuff, yeah. so uh, it should be exciting. And then the last uh, kind of thing that we had happen this week is we had a couple restaurants that were closed. Anthony's Pizza, if you know the many Anthony's Pizzas in town. This one was the one down on 4967 South Orange Avenue. Um, roaches, rodents, the normal things. There were also a couple of uh, Sunshine Soul Food Cafe over on West Colonial and uh, a China Garden over on West Colonial. Uh, similar problems. It seems to be roaches that gets these places mm -hmm. shut down the most. So uh, maybe take a look at uh, the Orlando Sentinel's restaurant inspections before you head out to eat this week. Well, we're going to leave you with some positive news, too. We have some openings. Chewy's in Winter Park opened up. I tried them out. Good. You know, they have the burritos big as your head, the homemade tortillas, lots of margaritas. So check that out if you're into, you know, Mexican food. And then Blaze is opening. They're having their grand opening Friday, August 5th. So that'll be fun. And that's in Disney Springs, and it's kind of cool. You should be getting your pizzas. You can make your own pizza there, and then they stick in this super hot oven, and you should have your pizza within, like, three minutes, I think is what they said. So I kind of like that. And I'm sure people who are traversing Disney Springs will like that, too. Get a quick eat and head out for some more fun. Yeah, so some great expansions from some restaurants. So thanks for checking us out, guys. Check back next week, and we'll give you some more restaurant food news. Thanks.